listeners to Vichar Vahini, where we unravel the stories behind impactful individuals. Today, we are thrilled to host Najiket Kulkarni, a seasoned professional with over a decade of experience spanning large corporations, social entrepreneurship, and startups. From managing Intel's data center inventory in the US to pioneering social impact at WillGrow and sustain tech. Nachike's journey is a testament to his entrepreneurial spirit. As the head of social entrepreneurship at NSR Cell's Impact Orbit, he has played a pivotal role in making it India's largest social enterprise incubator. Nachike's interests extend to alternate financing for startups and understanding technology's role in social impact. A graduate in electrical engineering from Anna University and with a master's from Clemson University, he has not only excelled professionally, but also navigated bold career transitions. Beyond achievements, Nachikes acknowledges the crucial support of his family, especially his parents from academia and his wife Sneha, who encouraged his entrepreneurial leap just three months into their wedding. Join us as we dive into the dynamic career shifts, financial planning tips, and the profound impact of diverse interactions that have shaped Nachiket's journey. Welcome to Vichar Vahini, Nachiket Kulkarni, a stream of thoughts inspiring change. So Nachiket, thank you for accepting our invitation and coming to our channel today. So. Would you like to share your personal journey of shifting from a corporate career to working in impact startups or social entrepreneurship? I believe our listeners would love to know what motivated this transition of yours. Thank you. Thank you, Purva, for having me and in this beautiful campus. And uh, I extended thanks to Mr. Deekshant and his team as well. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. To answer your question, I think what I did was probably what a lot of us do trace the path that is charted out there by the society. So I did engineering, I did uh, management, and uh, I had uh, probably, I would say, be r in the right time, in the right place, because I got a job in the US uh, in peak recession, where a lot of my uh, colleagues and classmates didn't get. And uh, you know that's when I started thinking how grateful I should be. So I was in Intel in California for five years. And uh, while corporate was good as the first ever job, it trains you to do you know basic things well, mm -hmm. like you know probably making good accurate spreadsheets, good business communication, um, have a very disciplined work culture. Uh, but beyond a point. Um, it was fairly, uh, you know, soul sucking in a way where you felt on an everyday basis your work was not really affecting anyone. You are there to multiply the company's share value, and uh, beyond a point, um, you are not able to sort of see the impact of your work on the larger society. Uh, while doing this, I mean, I started seeing opportunities to volunteer. And uh, one of the organizations I volunteered with, I found areas of interest. It was, this organization was called IRC, International Rescue Committee. And it's a very legit organization in the US where uh, they work with the UN and uh, they have uh, refugees coming in and different chapters in different cities. And they help uh, refugees acclimatize to, uh, to the society, which means you teach them how to buy groceries for the first time, how to buy a phone connection for the first time, uh, and slowly after that get them employed and get them ready for employment, right? So in that, all I did was I said I can come and volunteer to teach English. They mm -hmm. said you need a instructor's uh, certificate yes. to to do this, and I said okay, uh, I don't want to get that, but how can I still help? And they said. Hey, we have some backbenchers. You can actually help the backbenchers after they're done with the class. Right. So that is when I actually was uh, introduced and I worked with uh, a Syrian refugee, uh, someone from Burma. And uh, that is around 2011 when all Arab Spring, all that started. So my interaction with uh, this one uh, Afghan kid 
made me think a lot uh, because he was uh, one of the uh, students in the class and he said, hey, can you get me a job in Intel? If you actually look at his skill sets, uh, he was completely, definitely, uh, I would say, good for a job. Mm -hmm. But uh, the rules and the society uh, constructs, uh, you know, like for instance, he had already had a garage in, uh, you know, and he was a, sort of a two-time entrepreneur, if you say. Uh, his He had a garage in, in Turkey, somewhere, outskirts, and then he had to move that due to some uh, family issues. And then he had a computer center going on in Afghanistan, which again got affected by the war. So I, mm -hmm. that made me question, you know, who is deciding these rules? Right. Uh, what is happening? So that triggered when I actually went and asked in Intel for, uh, you know, for this. And I'm sure this is across corporates. And not to blame them as well, right? They have to make rules to get systems going. But uh, I realized that this kid could actually be employed, but I had the privilege of uh, going through the chartered way and doing it. Um, so this made me read a lot about, uh, you know, what happens in the world and why. And started following a lot of Netflix and a lot of documentaries, a lot of articles in New York Times. Got me interested in policy and entrepreneurship in a way because I thought that, uh, you know, if someone, if some societal change has to happen, uh, then policy is the right way to do it. The more I read about policy, uh, I got advised by a lot of people that you can change policy, but you need on-ground experience, you need uh -huh. on-ground exposure. Uh, so, yeah, I actually applied for another master's in public policy and some really good institutions like uh, Harvard, Kennedy School and Tufts gave me this feedback that you go to, uh, you know, you're competing against people who have done on the ground change, could be entrepreneurs, could be, um, you know, someone in the military or some, um, you know, there were people returning from war or someone right. who has run an organization for 10 years on the ground and then coming for a master's in public policy. So they said, Corporate is good, but then go get an exposure in a developing country and then come back. So I thought, which developing country is better? I wanted to come home anyway. Yes. And hence, I came to India. When mm -hmm. I actually, you know, when I came, I really didn't know what I'm going to do. Um, but uh, essentially, I just took a volunteering role with an organization out in outskirts of Delhi uh, called Drishti, which was in those days exposing and building social business models. So the first thing I did was uh, they, they put me to a Sarso Ka Tel farmer who wanted to build a business. And, you know, the first thing he told me, sir, aap aayenge, aap to US se aayen, aap mera kuch ne, uh, help kar sakte hain. And uh, on the first call, he told me that. I realized oh, he was based in Malihabad in Lucknow. So I Lucknow jata tha yahan se. And when he said that, I realized he's completely correct. I am who I am. So, uh, but that was beginning of the humbling experiences. That you think that you can advise someone in the corporate sector, ke mein advise kar sakte ho, but it needs the grounding, it needs uh, exposure. So, long story short, I met here in Delhi. Mein, I had uh, other people in Drishti who were volunteering, were from other countries actually. So, ek, Ghaziabad, if you actually will imagine, California, mein ye nahi hua. Ghaziabad mm -hmm. mein hua. I had a roommate from Indonesia, from France, from Japan, from Brazil, and from US. Right. And they told me about social entrepreneurship. Oh. They told me that they were also halfway in their career. India mein ye movement uh, chalu ho raha hai, social entrepreneurship, ka, social businesses. Ka. And uh, someone told me, um, ki, one the Brazilian roommate told me that uh, uh, Chennai mein will grow karke ek impact investor hai, incubator hai. And then actually for me it was an irony because I was brought up in IIT Madras and this institution will grow was right behind it and I didn't know about it. It took me ki dunya bar ghumo, ek Brazilian ko meet karo Dili mein and wo bolega ki ye hai. Uh, so then essentially yeah, I moved to will grow and uh, that is when I started getting an idea that this is probably the space uh, I want to be in. And I wouldn't say that was completing the transition. That was just the beginning of the transition. Transition hone ke liye shayad art das saal lage hain. Uh, Will grow exposed me to social entrepreneurship business models. Then I worked with one of their uh, investees where I had to build a team to sell chulas on highway. Chulas mm -hmm. that were working uh, with energy efficient models and renewable energy. That gave me a lot of exposure. Kaha data center uh, 
ऑप्टिमाइज करो और कहाँ एक्चुअली सो वेन यू एक्चुअली वॉज वर्किंग विद आर सेल्स गेज ऑन द फील्ड कि यू नो वी वर वर्किंग ऑन इंडोर एयर पोल्यूशन दैट्स वॉट दैट चूला यूज टू डू अपेरेंटली इन इंडिया हाईवे कुक्स एंड इन द किचन्स बिकॉज ऑफ द धुआं इन साइड एवरेज एज ऑफ अ कुक दैट गेट्स अनएम्प्लॉयड बिकॉज ऑफ हेल्थ रीजन्स इज थर्टी टू टू थर्टी फाइव ओके क्योंकि इंडिया में जो मिट्टी के चूल्हे होते हैं दे आर नॉट एनर्जी एफिशेंट एंड स्मोक स्मोक कम्स आउट एंड इट इट एक्चुअली स्पॉइल्स देयर लंग्स so this product was helping on that and also reducing fuel cost so this was the first instance jahan mere ko laga ki actually mera kaam is actually making some impact because this was saving energy saving cost for the kitchen and effectively helping to reduce indoor air pollution so i was there for 3 years uske baad i did my own entrepreneurship journey uh, very briefly we were into consumer we were doing ye jo फेस्टिवल्स में या स्टॉल्स जो लगते हैं टेबल एंड कैनपी वी वर जस्ट ट्राइंग टू मेक वेरी गुड गुड लुकिंग पॉपअप्स इफ यू विल फैंसी पॉपअप्स द वेंचर वॉज कॉल विंडो हैड गुड मोमेंटम लेकिन कोविड में अफेक्ट हुआ थोड़ा एंड दैट इज वैन आई थॉट कि यू नो दो तीन स्टार्टअप में रिस्क लिया है लेट मी गेट सम यू नो सम क्वेश्चन इन लाइफ तो that i would say right now where i am where i had the uh, incubation social impact incubation space in nsrsl is probably uh, has completed the transition to identify what you want uh, to do and what triggers you and drives you every day um, it took a while and it takes a while uh, but they say right ki uh, it's the journey that is more important than the destination so i feel like it has taken that many years to understand it and uh, Yeah, and I think I'm enjoying what I'm doing right now. Well, that's beautiful. But since you have worked both in the corporate environment and with social entrepreneurs, and even in the similar setting, आपके हिसाब से आपके नजरिए से दोनों में क्या अंतर है? देखिए सबसे पहले, and this is something probably everyone knows, right? जो भी corporate, uh, obviously जो भी corporate salaries offer करते हैं, वो आपको startups में नहीं मिलेंगे. शायद डेवलपमेंट सेक्टर में भी नहीं मिलेंगे दे कैन मैच इट आफ्टर एक्सपीरियंस बट नॉट इन अर्ली यू नो अर्ली अर्ली डेज सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट पीपल शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ सेकेंड इज ऑफकोर्स अनसर्टेंटी राइट तो आपको कॉपरेट में एवरी थिंग इज सेट राइट इन अ लार्ज कंपनी प्रोसेस आर सेट योर इवन सिंपल थिंग्स लाइक हॉलीडेज आर सेट आपको स्टार्टअप में हो या इवन किसी छोटे डेवलपमेंट uh, एजेंसी में हो या नॉन प्रॉफिट में हो वॉट एवर यू हैव टू डू सब आपको ही करना पड़ता है राइट इवन इफ यू आर नॉट एन ऑन्टरप्रन इफ यू आर इन द अर्ली टीम ऑफ ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दैट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम फॉर इंस्टेंस इवन क्लीनिंग योर ऑफिस टू साइनिंग एन एम ओ यू आपको ही करना पड़ता है एंड वाइल यू आर डूइंग सो यू डोंट इवन नो वेर योर नेक्स्ट सैलरी इज गोइंट कम फ्राम राइट सो आई थिंक uncertainties is something that is very obvious in social entrepreneurship uh, or early stages of any entrepreneurship and that is a huge huge difference aapko corporate mein your your meetings are set you you just have to show up at the office do your work come back home you probably don't have to worry about where your salary is coming from uh, so that uncertainty is definitely there and uh, exposure to uh, the work culture is so in social entrepreneurship uh, Uh, or in any early stage startup is aapko corporate mein aap emails likhoge aapko reply aayega uh, as a small entrepreneur or a social entrepreneur aap kisi bade client ko email likh rahe ho hmm. you're not going to get a reply uh, because you're a small person right uh, or if you're trying to sell your product to someone uh, you probably are not going to get payments on time so i think uncertainty को छोड़ के वर्क कल्चर इज इज फेयरली डिफरेंट एंड आई थिंक इट इज फाइव वे मोर डायनामिक सो इट इज अप टू यू कि आप क्या सीखेंगे क्या इन इन एनी इन एज इन एनी एडवेंचर इन लाइफ यू यू हैव टू पिक योर थिंग्स देर आर प्रोज कॉन्स तो बट या आई थिंक आई आई कैन थिंक ऑफ दीज थ्री मेन थिंग लाइक मनी अनसर्टेंटी एंड वर्क कल्चर कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट तो इट टेक्स अ वाइल टू अडेप्ट एंड दैट समथिंग पीपल शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ ऐसे I mean, I'll, I'll probably uh, talk a bit later on how to address all that. Yeah. Okay. So, what I believe, India has the largest population of youth in the world. 
right and the youth today they have beautiful and marvelous dreams with regards to their career but ek wo swadesh wala moment har kisi ke sath aata hai when they want to go back to their roots when they want to give yeah. back to the society but they are always apprehensive you know for this particular shift for this yeah. transition aap un logo ke liye kya advice dena chahenge yeah dekhiye uh, when i did that yeah i definitely uh, you know was triggered by the swadesh moment uh, um and it is good to see ki current youth have the option of going back home i think covid se ye to hua hai and geo and all these things have actually made things like uh, digital internet jo bhi aapko shehar mein milta hai for working you are able to get that in small towns so first of all i am glad that india has come to that level where people are able to probably make these calls yes and uh, you know not uh, decide on not decide based on you know situations that have been going on for so first of all i think i congratulate our country and country's youth in the last 10 years bahut kaam hua hai uh, be it on aadhar be it on our public infrastructure be it on uh, what we call india stack uh, and we are definitely up for you know we indeed are the fifth largest economy and we definitely up for more so in i'm happy that some people are able to make these choices while they make these choices i think दो तीन चीज़ें याद रखनी पड़ेगी सबसे पहले ये कि ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप ही करना है ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए राइट इट इज़ नॉट समथिंग फॉर एवरी वन एंड फाइन इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू ट्राई इट यू कैन ट्राई इट बट ऐसे बहुत चीज़ें हैं जो आपको अगर कुछ इम्पैक्ट करना है कुछ चेंज करना है यू कैन ऑलवेज बी सपोर्टर टू समबडी हुज एनेबलिंग इट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डू दैट रिसर्च कि वॉट इज़ द सेक्टर दैट ट्रिगर्स यू Uh, your interest uh, what is it that you are good at and how you can sort of uh, earn income out of it i think ye teeno agar saath mein aaye then it's a very very good thing so like if you just put a venn diagram wh- what is the problem you mm-hmm. want to solve what is what interests you slash what are your skill sets and how you can probably make an income out of it ye teeno aapko research karna padega thodi der and then the other thing you would want to do is don't jump into that sector or that specific things immediately right aap thoda workshops karo uh, events ko jao get exposed do some part time gigs shayad sham ko kaam karo us pe weekend ko kaam karo so you can actually make a final call after a year like before i joined will grow and after i quit corporate i had one year jahan main bus workshops or events ke liye gaya in sectors where i had no knowledge of anything sustainability workshop ko gaya and i i did something i even did a yoga workshop i went for a writing workshop to uh, urban planning social entrepreneurship ye sab ye aise itne options hain apne desh mein jahan uh, and especially after covid things have come back physical workshops when you meet point is up up you have to step out of your comfort zone if you are in your own job uh, in a city and for months and years you're doing the same thing you're going to meet the same people if you step out of your comfort zone and go do these workshops aapko alag diversity ke log milenge aapko uh, for instance i being in corporate sector i had never met innovators entrepreneurs people in other field uh, and once you start meeting it opens up your whole, whole mind uske baad aap decide karo aapko kya acha lagta hai and then you can do it so i feel while there are a lot of these options uh, just embrace it slowly जो भी करना है डोंट टेक इम्पल्सिव स्टेप्स एंड जस्ट कीप एन आई आउट ऑन थिंग्स यू लाइक बिकॉज देर आर वी कैन वर्कशॉप देर आर कॉन्फ्रेंसिस सो मेनी थिंग्स आर हैपनिंग एंड आई वुड से एक्सपोज योर सेल्फ टू ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग स्मॉल स्मॉल एंड आई एम श्योर इन अ ब्रैकेट ऑफ थिंग्स इफ यू गो फॉर फोर फाइव इवेंट्स यू विल नो वॉट टू पिक अमंग दोस एज प्रॉब्ली योर नेक्स्ट करियर ऑप्शन ग्रेट सिंस नाचिकेत हैज ऑलरेडी डी कोडेड फॉर आज how to battle the anxious thoughts and not fall prey to our impulsive decisions let's delve a little deeper into it and talk about the do's and don'ts for the social entrepreneurs who wants to start their journey in this particular sector okay sabka alag gamuts of life hota hai and if you actually uh, split that into two three things one is uh, your professional life second is your personal life 
and third is your probably financial life which is also important right so some of the things we have seen and i have seen in the last few years as a metric for success sabse pehle aap professional ho right aap shayad uh, architect ho lekin aapko fintech mein kaam karna hai ye to ho hi nahi sakta uh, ho sakta hai but it might again take time and uh, one of the things i have seen is a recipe for uh, a larger recipe or a greater probability of success is if you can innovate in the field of your knowledge in the field of your strength uh, you will have the command of that subject right jaise hum bahut tech entrepreneurs ko meet karte hain uh, the founding team mein koi na koi aisa hota hai jisko tech in and out pata hai yeah right shayad anybody and everybody cannot know everything but uh, the first thing we have seen is if you can actually and of course while doing something new you will build on to your skills so the goal is stick to your i would say stick to your core areas of strength and definitely build on to that but don't do completely something uh, different and if you do then you should realize that you are doing something completely different right like i think west mein us mein ya europe mein you get more examples where people completely transition uh, fields but it's also because they have that room they have that cushion of finances ki wo kar sakte hain here maybe everybody doesn't have that room and it is always a larger and faster way to succeed if you are innovating or doing something in your own field so let's say if you are a finance person aapko banking sector pata ho aapko shayad microfinance sector ke bare mein pata hai aapko payment gateways ke bare mein pata hai to aap fintech mein kuch to karo but suddenly you might come and say ki bhai mere ko i don't know medical innovation karna hai mm-hmm. you are essentially making your own path difficult so that's one trick that people i would it's a small hack that i think uh, people should probably remember of course uh, second bit is personal slash social whenever you are trying to start something on your own i would just say be open to anybody and everybody around you friends loved ones plus ones family uh, advisors mentors because jab aise ek adventurous journey pe aap set hote ho these are the people who are going to be there for you all the time and and be supportive and you will expect some sort of both empathy and sympathy from some of them to help you because there are going to be more bad days than good days good day, at yes. least in the initial stages ye log bahut underestimate karte hain and i feel uh, this is very important last but not the least is uh, financials right if you have an opportunity to save let's say through your corporate life and then just manage those investments in a way where thoda aap startup ke liye use kar lo and baki sab kuch save kar lo i think you know i have been i somehow lot of people advise me the right time ki don't touch your savings if you can actually see uh, maybe use less than 10% of your savings to put it in your own startup idea baki uh, you talk to people who who can actually give you that money there are some ways to do that as well and i'll probably uh, talk about it but aisa nahi ho ki shayad aapke paas let's say 3 4 saal after 3 4 years of work experience maybe you have saved 10 lakhs don't put all the 10 lakhs in your new business because essentially you're putting all your buckets i mean all all the eggs into one basket uh, maybe park some for your business and try to multiply those savings because india mein abhi fine bootstrapping is good but aapko bahut opportunities hai jo jahan bahar se aapko capital milega and please don't mix personal finances with business finances i see a lot of people making that mistake initial stage mein ho jata hai but i mean i'm actually telling some good secrets of success where you know we don't want people to do that so i don't want to go into the negative mode which we will probably cover but I think these are the few points that to keep in mind. I hope our entrepreneurial listeners are jotting down all of these and now we'll be talking more about the don'ts. Because of course, jab hum do's ki baat karte hain, hame don'ts bhi pata hone chahiye ki kaun kaun se aise topics hain jinse hame dur rehna chahiye jo initial stage pe hum zyada galtiyan karte hain. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think one of the common mistakes I have seen is logon ko lagta hai ki जो प्रॉब्लम वो नोटिस करते हैं सोसाइटी में और जिसके बारे में वो बहुत पैशनेट है वो उनमें घुस जाते हैं बट फंडामेंटली पीपल डोंट अंडरस्टैंड और डोंट डू द होमवर्क इफ दैट प्रॉब्लम इज एक्चुअली अ प्रॉब्लम फॉर द कस्टमर और और बेनिफिशरी राइट एंड 
people figure it out uh, during the course of uh, their journeys. But if we have a way to uh, skip that learning curve, then well and good. Like for instance, uh, our incubation may bahut log aise aate hain jo uh, throughout the incubation. I mean, when they start the incubation, their target audience is completely different. If you're making a product, for instance. Um, maybe uh, yeah okay let's take a health biscuit for instance and you you are saying that you want to sell that to athletes but actual audience could be uh, you know maybe uh, senior citizens right now you figure that during your journey but you are trying to solve a problem you are mm. trying to solve probably solve the problem of um, i don't know whether it is diabetes or whether it is you know a healthy meal between breaks jo bhi hai i feel people just get passionate and get into it without understanding the user perspective so this is the first first mistake like a uh, lot of people say that uh, startups uh, don't or startups fail because of lack of finances but i feel and and research proves that most startups fail because of the problem solution fit so that is one thing we feel ki aapko jo problem dikhta hai wo shayad sabko problem nahi hoga it is just that you are passionate about it i'll give you my own example Uh, we wanted to start uh, i mean i wanted to replace all the pushcarts in the country into something fancy but bhai saalon saal pushcart chal hi raha hai usme zyada galtiyan nahi hai when you actually talk to street vendors they do talk about two three things that are hard um, but if it was hard then maybe a tvs would have solved it or a maruti would have solved it as a good automobile uh, i went chasing street car designs etc etc and then we eventually ended up making a kiosk for a customer who is not a street vendor but uh, point is it took me one and a half years to understand that that is not a problem uh, an example while uh, discovering this uh, in if you see in in footpaths like let's say you go to sarojini nagar uh, or any other uh, market people take two hours to set up that shop i was trying to innovate where you just open a suitcase kind of a design and set up a shop within 2 minutes only because i found it fancy right i found it very innovative and all that because mereko foldable furniture pe pyar aa gaya right but when we met the first 50 customers uh, or potential i wouldn't even call them customers right this is my user research base mm-hmm. wo bolta hai sir mereko kuch jaldi nahi hai na main 9 baje aata hu mera koi ek bhi customer 12 baje tak aata hi nahi hai and i have two boys to help me so my problem is not about setting up the shop or closing the shop my problem is something else my problem is about marketing about getting noticed about my branding about my led so eventually it took us one and a half years to work on those things so this is a classic example of you being passionate about a problem but it couldn't it need not be a problem for somebody else i have tons of such examples coming into the incubation space as well so i think that is one don't the other thing is don't expect shortcuts right so Uh, आप कुछ भी कर रहे हो नया आपको दो साल तीन साल में तो कुछ भी नहीं होगा यू हैव टू बी इन इट फॉर द लॉन्ग रन मोर सो इन द करंट माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक लैंडस्केप लाइक वेंचर कैपिटल हैड गिवन मनी टू अ लॉट ऑफ स्टार्टअप्स वेर यू नो राइट नो वी जस्ट रेड दैट इन 2023 ट्वेंटी थ्री देर इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द फंडिंग दैट इंडियन स्टार्टअप्स रेज फ्रॉम वेंचर कैपिटल कंपेयर टू last year so which means uh, all these models of you know burn cash irrespective of profitability make money so- soon exit ye sab hoga hi nahi because to figure out a problem and to conquer a market bare minimum social entrepreneurship space mein to 7 saal to lag hi jayenge 7 to 8 years which is why we call it patient capital um, even if you're doing a tech startup 4 5 saal to lag hi jayenge to to, to start getting money to start understanding customers to build an organization and a legacy out of it it will probably take 10 or 15 years of so course. one thing that you don't want to think about all this it's not a shortcut at all to make more money you will make money if you are successful probability is low but of course there is rewards at the end of it jaldi nahi hoga ye sab i think these are the two important things the third thing i already mentioned like be very aware of not mixing personal finances and business finances क्योंकि ये बस पैसे की बात नहीं है ये आल्सो रिलेशनशिप्स की बात है यू नो लाइक वन ऑफ द ट्रिक्स समवन टोल्ड मी वाज फाइन यू टेक मनी फ्रॉम योर फ्रेंड्स बट ओनली फ्रॉम दोज फ्रेंड्स और रिलेटिव्स हु नो दैट इट्स ओके टू लूज दैट मनी नंबर वन नंबर टू विल नॉट स्क्रू अप योर रिलेशनशिप 
कुछ भी हो बिजनेस में सो वन ट्रिक आई सी आई डिड माई सेल्फ एंड आई सी अ लॉट ऑफ ऑन्टरप्रनर्स डूइंग इज मे बी कॉल अ फ्रेंड अब्रॉड यू नो देर इज अ मेट्रिक टू इट लेट मी डिस्कलोज दैट कि इफ यू आर एबल टू कन्विंस वन फ्रेंड और वन रिलेटिव कि आप एक महीने का सैलरी दे दो मेरे को someone who's doing well right mm-hmm. asana ki you go and ask someone who's struggling yeah uh, in us terms it could be something like 2000 mm-hmm. dollars is what you're borrowing india mein aapko wo is almost 2 lakhs in the current rate aap aise f- five to six friends or relatives ko choose kar lo aapko 12 15 usi mein se mil jayega and with with an understanding ki if i grow i will definitely pay back that money mm-hmm. right and if i don't grow that person shouldn't feel that they've lost a lot of their savings yes so i think to have that uh, understanding as, as i told before aisa nahi ki aapko aapke paas 10 lakh ka saving hai sab dal do nahi but you still have to put the first 2 3 lakhs to convince your friend or relative that bhai i am serious about it if you don't put that money and just say hey give me your money people will be like neither have you left your job uh, neither have you put your own capital um, if you don't have that then again it's a different story but even Uh, especially because हम लोग कॉपरेट टू ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप ट्रांजेक्शन में बात कर रहे हैं पीपल विल हैव दैट लिटल बिट ऑफ सेविंग्स सो आप थोड़ा डालो एंड देन यू कैन गो एंड आस्क अदर्स फॉर मैचिंग दैट वी डू अ लॉट ऑफ सेशन नाउ इवन इन एन एस आर एस एल वेर वी टॉक अबाउट डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग पर्सनल फाइनेंसिंग एंड बिजनेस फाइनेंस एंड आई थिंक या दिस इज द थर्ड या डोंट स्क्रो अप योर रिलेशनशिप्स फॉर दिस एंड आई थिंक वन वन थिंक पीपल शुड बी अवेयर ग्रेट अब हम आपसे ना कुछ ऐसे सक्सेस स्टोरीज के बारे में जानना चाहेंगे जिन्होंने भारतीय पृष्ठभूमि पर कुछ अलग करके दिखाए स्पेसिफिकली वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द सोशल ऑन्टरप्रिनोरशिप क्योंकि कुछ होम ग्रोन ब्रांड्स होते हैं जिन्होंने भारत की ही प्रॉब्लम्स को सुलझाया हो डेफिनेटली ओके सो एज और I think in the last two years, I have incubated me and my team have incubated around 50 to 60 startups, which means we have met at least 50 crazy people, and their co-founders yeah. and their founding team members. Uh, average lelo ki ek 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 startup mein at least two members hain. So there are hundred stories. Let me pick, without disrespect to anybody else, let me pick one or two for interest of time. Um, so. You must be knowing this person, uh, Purva. So there's this person called Divya, who was in our own cohort. Yeah, uh, one of our favorites. Ha. So, Divya's story is like this. So she was uh, in in Google, um, in corporate life, and she I think did her um, MBA also from uh, Kellogg's or Northwestern in US. And uh, she came back to India. She had her own ad agency. और uh, वो भी सात साल चलाया एंड 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 आई थिंक शी सेट इट अप वेल एंड यू नो शी व्हेन शी वेंट बैक होम ड्यूरिंग कोविड शी सॉ लोकल प्रॉब्लम सो दिव्या इज हर फुल नेम इज दिव्या हेगडे एंड शी इज फ्रॉम द स्मॉल टाउन कॉल कुंदापुर जो मैंगलोर के नॉर्थ में है लाइक कोस्टल कर्नाटका में आता है एंड कोविड के टाइम पे जब उन्होंने देखा कि वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड वेस्ट कलेक्शन रुक गया है बिकॉज ऑफ whatever restrictions were there she took it upon herself to actually make it happen in her community so one of the things that motivated her is she noticed that no woman in the community or nobody in the community wanted to work in waste management sabko lagta hai ki waste management taboo hai so that she took it upon herself to solve this was 2020 and uh, asasal ke sath incubation hua abhi uh, you know um, i i saw her recently win some awards with un and stuff um, so essentially what she is doing now is uh, she has grown to a company where she employs around 95 women um, she not only has created awareness uh, in the community about waste management she has employed 95 women with benefits social security and fixed income salaries she now has at least 25 women out of these 95 who are not only the sole breadwinners of the family but they are the largest earners of the family as well brilliant so community mein wo empowerment unhone leke aaye hain jahan unke jab hum slides banate hain further fund raising ke liye we have examples there someone has bought a two wheeler someone has bought an auto you know and these are now i would say 
बिकॉज दे आर अर्निंग सो मच इन दैट इन दैट स्पेसिफिक विलेज जहाँ पहले जॉब ऑप्शन थे ही नहीं द स्टेटस इन द कम्युनिटी ऑल्सो गोज अप अलॉन्ग विध स्टैंड ऑफ लिविंग राइट पहले लोगों को लगता था कि ये क्या जाके वेस्ट वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट कर रहे हैं वेस्ट पिकर्स हो रहे हैं बट लुक ऐसे कोस्टल कर्नाटका के गाँव में जहाँ जॉब ऑप्शन है ही नहीं दिस वुमन इज एबल टू टेक होम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड अ मंथ एंड इज एबल टू बाई अ होंडा एक्टिवा और एन ऑटो एंड इज एबल टू टेक हर किड्स ऑन दैट एंड टेक हर हजबेंड ऑन दैट ऑल्सो हु प्रॉब्ली अर्न मच लेसर this transformation divya has been able to create over last 3 4 years and now uh, she set up this started out as a non profit she has set up a parallel for profit could we advise her on that that waste there is money to be made in waste conscious mm-hmm. consciously and uh, yeah now she is at a stage where the entire uh, fisheries department has given her uh, the uh, 400 km of exclusive coastal access where we have been advising her to specialize on ocean plastics recovery so very soon in, in if she manages to crack her next fundraise she will be setting up india's first ocean plastics recovery facility i am already getting goosebumps now yeah. so this is a classic example hum unko google to garbage as a yeah. we, we kind of teaser and we also have other funny names karana mein kasa queen bolte hain which is garbage queen um so this is one example other example i'll tell you i mean um impact to impact hai but um vinay kothari karke there is a founder and the founder of this company called go desi uh i think you some of you must have seen jaise hum bachpan mein imli ka candy khate the na imli pops what vinay kothari has done and if you look it up on the website go desi um it is now an 8 million dollar uh, company uh, valued at but he has basically branded these imli pops each cost 5 rupees and it's he has created at least 20 varieties of it mm-hmm. um he was also in either dabar or itc for 7 or 8 years uh he wanted to uh, you know just create a category in this sort of snacking because uh aise to tha hi nahi kuch koi branded player tha hi nahi isme and uh, he employs around uh, 50 to 100 women in tumkur which is outskirts of uh, bangalore they manufacture it at a very low cost and very intelligently he uh, and i feel a lot of impact social entrepreneurs will follow this path uh, full of uh, uh, full karke aap ek company ko suna hoga ki who actually make agarbatties from flower mm-hmm. waste so coming back to go desi which is a similar example and i will talk about it because he was incubated in assassin uh they took the impact route pehle impact uh, bolke philanthropy incubators grants mm-hmm. aise paise uthaye unhone and then finally when the product started commercializing when they started going to market um now i think go desi is uh, everywhere at least bangalore metro mein aapko milta hai they are probably in 1000 uh, plus stores and uh, the last i read he raised uh, uh he raised a very successful i think third uh, fundraising round and if you see why it has been successful i feel like jaise maine pehle bataya ki aapka pehle jo bhi skill hai ya network se wo leke jao aapke naye innovation mein if vinay was not in dabar or itc wherever he was for 7 or 8 years uh, end of the day aapko aise imli pop bechna hai to distribution is a game uh distribution across stores distribution across different cities so if i think and also the branding and marketing game that he has brought in uh impact story to hai where he is employing around so many women 300 or women in, in that town uh but the fact that he was able to take his corporate uh, learnings into building the startup uh i think is is a very very uh, remarkable achievement and we definitely want to see uh, such examples social mein chhod diya like if you look at other larger startups as well right like flipkart the bunsels was were, were in amazon for quite a while before even they did this uh, mukesh bunsel as well who sits on imb's board now he was also in um, uh, corporate for a while before he uh, did this uh, his multiple startups so definitely up uh, you know uh, you will find a lot of examples Uh, but i think i gave you two examples who probably nobody knows about and right. you know just because they are not uh, flipkart or not a unicorn doesn't mean they're not running a good business 
they are all running very impactful businesses and making money so i think yeah uh, we want to see more examples like this bilkul so when we talk about india wo jo swadesh movement aata hai wo isliye aata hai because there are so many challenges still thriving in our society to jab hum challenges ki baat karte hain social entrepreneurs किन किन मुश्किलों से जूझते हैं आपके हिसाब से जैसे आपने अभी बात की दिव्या की विनय की वॉट आर चैलेंजेस दे मस्ट हैव गॉन थ्रू बिफोर रीचिंग टू द पिनाकल ऑफ सक्सेस वी सी सम कॉमन चैलेंजेस विच अलॉट ऑफ सोशल एंटरप्रनर्स गो थ्रू सबसे पहले कंप्लाइंसिस राइट स्पेशली इफ यू आर रनिंग अ नॉन प्रॉफिट इन टूडेज वर्ल्ड there are a lot of regulatory challenges uh, there are a lot of new laws and compliances that keep coming by uh, so one of the things we have noticed ki entrepreneurs ko to pata hi nahi hota hai ki ye law hai ye uh, f- ye legal challenges aane wale hain for instance uh, non profits uh, they have to have 12 a atg certificates right uh, we've had people in our cohort without that and that's the first thing we cover because अगर वो नहीं है तो दे कान इवन रेस एस आर फंडिंग तो वन ऑफ द कॉन्स्टेंट चैलेंजेस सोशल ऑन्टरप्रन स्पेसिफिकली फेस इज टू बी अपडेटेड एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग कम्प्लाइंस आई एम नॉट सेंग कि आप कम्प्लाइंस समझ लो बट आई एम सेंग कि आप एटलीस्ट एक लॉयर को रख लो जिसके साथ आप काम कर सकते हो एक्सप्लेन्स टू यू वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन वॉट इज नॉट सो एंड इट्स नॉट गॉन्ट चेंज इट डजेंट मैटर हु कम्स इन एंड मेक्स द लॉज uh i think the way non profit laws are set will always be complicated and uh, that is one thing we, we look at even generally outside of social entrepreneurship even if it's a for profit uh, company uh, entrepreneurs don't understand the nuances of legal entities so that is one common problem i have seen fundraising second is uh, logon ko lagta hai ki bhai maine news mein pad liya isme vc funding raise kiya hai ये तो हीरो बन गया है राइट दैट हीरो इज वन आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड विच मीन्स नाइन्टी नाइन पीपल हु आर नॉट हीरोज सो वॉट यू रीडिंग आउट देयर इन द मीडिया इज द सक्सेस स्टोरी फंड रेजिंग इज चैलेंजिंग बट नॉट इम्पॉसिबल तो देर इज एन आर्ट टू इट एंड सोशल ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप में इट्स इवन मोर डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज एंड ऑफ द डे इट इज अ रिलेटिवली न्यू इंडस्ट्री बिजनेस हैव बीन अराउंड फॉर अ वाइल बट इम्पैक्ट फंडस हो या जैसे फाउंडेशन हो कॉपरेट सी एस आर का लॉ तो आया ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन में तो द फंड रेजिंग बिट इट सेल्फ इज एन आर्ट एंड इट इज रिलेटिवली न्यू एंड फर्दर बिकॉज द सोर्स ऑफ फंड आर वेरी नीश इन सोशल ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप पीपल डेफिनेटली स्ट्रगल एंड and there is something the ecosystem has worked on it is much better than before ab uh, jaise i'll give you some numbers i think in the last 10 years 10 billion dollars have been poured into and i mean actually f- funds in the social entrepreneurship industry through venture capital but commercial startup mein aap dekhoge 10 billion dollars at least last year mein ab ye saal to situation alag hai mm-hmm. last year mein 10 billion dollars came in one quarter of 2021 or 2022 so 10 years versus one quarter that is the difference in the capital you are looking at yes. in entrepreneurship and social entrepreneurship right but the fact that it has hit 10 billion dollars is a very good thing mai jo 10 saal pehle social entrepreneurship pehli baar suna then nobody even talked about billions then so fund raising is definitely a challenge because a lot of funders don't understand especially if you are doing an impact business which is also making money and profits logon ko lagta nahi hai ki is ye business model sustain hoga logon ko awareness bhi nahi hai i mean on the funding side um, especially the conventional funders like banks and bfcs wagera so fund raising is definitely a, a challenge uh, that we see so is there any particular list of skill set for our entrepreneurs who can probably work on those areas to just increase the chances of excelling in social on- entrepreneurship sector yeah so okay coming to incubation now right so ek baat ye hai ki uh, some i wouldn't say you do this course or that course mm-hmm. uh, but i think being in some ecosystem like nsrsl which is an incubation which incubates social enterprises 
gives you certain base skills. Beyond that base skills, uh, you have to be out there by yourself and you have to pick what you want and what you're not good at. What I tell a lot of our entrepreneurs is that you can do it like you can be a superhero, superwoman, whatever it is, but you are limited to essentially two hands and two legs and one brain. And uh, what you don't know that you're not good at, you have to take help. So, uske liye, I think the first thing the entrepreneurs need to sort of look out for is, uh, first thing I think they should know themselves well, right? Uh, if you don't have a skill set, be ready to employ, be ready to delegate, be ready to partner. So we just basically want to know कि ऐसे कौन-कौन से skill sets हैं जो हमारे entrepreneurs जिस पर काम कर सकते हैं या जो उन खूबियाँ उनके अंदर होनी चाहिए। हाँ, correct, okay। तो yes, so coming back to that, so एक तो है आप you should be open to network and partner with people. I will come to what specifically in social entrepreneurship. I will give one more point which is for general entrepreneur. Uh, finance and business acumen. ये ऐसी चीज है लोगों को लगता है कि भाई हम तो धंधा चालू करेंगे you know but end of the day you have to feed yourself you have to feed your employees you have to feed your family so uh, one has to upskill themselves a little bit at least on basics of finance and basics of uh, running a business or running an organization तो आपको skilling में तो ये है ये ये चीज चाहिए in that comes the art of fundraising, in that comes the art of networking, whatever it is. Two specific things in social entrepreneurship, I would say one is empathy. Uh, empathy is such a thing where especially you are impact business or impact ke liye organization set kar rahe ho, you have to have that empathy towards your customer, towards your beneficiary and towards your employee because you are in for a cause. You may make money on the way, but you are in for a cause. If you don't understand the problem the way it should be understood, then you're never going to, uh, you know, have that uh, easy way to crack that as, as a problem solution fit. Second is patience. Entrepreneurship journey may first time job you have karte hai, wo sahi hoga, aisa kuch nahi sakte, right? Uh, one or two examples. So we've had this venture called, uh, yeah, I'll take an example from, so we, we run this cohort called the Rural Entrepreneurship Cohort, where a lot of people have moved from city back to hometown and innovated. Um, there is a, a company called Indian Yards, based out of Nilgiris and Ooty. You can look them up. Uh, their new brand name is The Good Gift. So they used to make these macrame kits. They were urban IT couple moved from Bangalore to uh, Nilgiris. They used to make... Uh, Silai kits and basically macrame jo hota hai, people were selling those, they were selling those kits to be Fab, Fab India or you know such larger brands or even on their website. So uh, it took them a while to realize that that probably is not sustainable. Now they've, first of all, they've set up another entity, they call it a new brand called The Good Gift and um, now they're just selling to those people who so apparently, so as a, through the journey of incubation and their market research, they found out that there is a clientele set in India where Shehar mein jo, especially urban middle class hai, people spend 5,000 to 6,000 rupees per month on average just for gifting for others. I have no friends like that <laughs> who gift me, but uh, there is a population like that. And now, hence they rebranded the company called The Good Gift. Uh, and this was noticed by Nikhil Kamath himself, uh, who is a popular entrepreneur in the space and a lot of people look up to him. And he DM'd them on LinkedIn because that's where the, that was the main sales channel. Mm -hmm. And he gave them uh, uh, their first uh, uh, sort of angel funding. And this gave, all this has taken a year and a half at least. And now essentially they're rebooting their business to a new audience. Mm -hmm. So... Where I'm coming with all this is patience, right? I feel like uh, patience is a very, very, very underestimated uh, virtue. An entrepreneur, especially social entrepreneur, needs to have that patience. Because whatever you have in conventional startups or conventional ecosystem, it will probably take three years, and in social, it will take a little more time. Um, so I think, apart from empathy, patience is a very, very virtue. You should let your experiments fail initially. But just learn fast from those failures. You could move from selling to, uh, like, move from a B2C model to a B2B model. Uh, you could completely change your customer segment. Uh, but 
try fast fail fast and then reimplement so i think patience is is a virtue not a skill set that social entrepreneurs should develop and have right uh, so you also talked about the importance of strong network and connections in the entrepreneurial ecosystem so how can that be your stepping stone towards success yeah yeah great question and uh, people underestimate this uh, only because people think that uh, some there are some entrepreneurs who are introverts some entrepreneurs who are extroverts who are anyway naturally good at net- networking wagera wagera but end of the day uh, whether you are introvert or extrovert you need these networks so some examples could be um, jaise aapke family mein bhi ho sakte hain business heroes aur cousins ho sakte hain ya uncles ya neighbors ho sakte hain jo saalon saal business chala rahe ho right the first thing is entrepreneurship aisa ais- keeda hai jo sab samajh nahi payenge so the first thing what we would want to do is probably build those networks of people and be friendly with those people who have done that in life right even if it could be it could be someone as small as your next door kirana shop or someone running a medical shop uh, but aap unko network mein rakho so uh, look around what is happening in your local business circles right har har shahar mein aur har town mein aise business circles hote hain like for example uh, Uh, yeah for example every city in india has something called a retailers association um every hotelier uh, is probably recommended to be a part of national restaurant association of india and even small things like your rotary club your lions club people meet there uh, there is something called uh, bnis which is again business network international har town mein chote chote town mein bhi iske chapters hain right and at least in tier 2 tier 3 towns there are even chambers of commerce like i'm not even like of course delhi mumbai bangalore mein sab mil jayega but even in smaller towns aapko aise local business circles hain jahan you know unke whatsapp groups ho unka unke clubs ho like there are older clubs in small towns where businessmen still meet like i know in kurg uh, which is a coffee hub in uh, in mm-hmm. the country uh, plantation owners meet in royal clubs but there are people who own smaller plantations they again they have their own clubs where they go to play cards of so course. these are local business networks you need to be in to be not only inspired by them but to be for them to be able to help you when you set up something so you always have to keep an eye for it in the current digital world it will be easier for you guys to find this on for anyone to find this on facebook um, i think har tier 3 tier 4 town may be Uh, facebook uh, or instagram enables you to find such businesses who are similar to yours so i think that is something is mandatory to be uh, aware of these local business networks <coughs> second is enabler networks uh, as of today india has 918 incubators or accelerators do mahine pehle ye number 700 tha uske pehle 600 tha like the way the country has been putting money to set up incubators and accelerators mm. there is a lot of incubators going to smaller towns and sitting with lot of capital uh my mistake as an entrepreneur was that i was refusing to be part of any incubator only because i was probably in another incubator before this and i thought it is it's a different world but after making that mistake i think for instance if i was in this job and then i have done entrepreneurship journey so rates of success could have been way better the story would have been different so i don't want others to follow that mistake uh, in towns like uh, like yesterday i was talking to someone who is running an incubator in 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 a town in uh, tamil nadu called trichy which is a tier 3 town right uh, and then uh, being at nsasl we are also uh, सिक्किम से एक आई मीन गैंगटॉक सिक्किम से डेढ़ घंटा दूर किसी इंक्यूबेटर ने हमको ई मेल लिखा है कि भाई मेरे पास कैपिटल है लेकिन हाउ डू आई रन दिस यू नो इंक्यूबेशन सो फॉर इंस्टेंस टुडे एंड येस्टरे फिफ्टी प्लस इंक्यूबेटर्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री आर विजिटिंग एन एस आसल एन एस आसल एंड विल ग्रो विच इज द अदर पॉपुलर इंक्यूबेटर इन द सोशल इम्पैक्ट स्पेस इज रनिंग अ कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग प्रोग्राम टू 
upskill managers or people in my po uh, position in those on in those incubators um point is enabling ecosystem pahunch chuka hai chote chote gaon mein bhi i'm not saying villages but at least uh, if you're one hour away from a place like shillong also you have access to at least two or three incubators in shillong so apart from enabler networks i mean uh, apart from business networks of uh, people i think uh, if it could be difficult to get into the business networks i was talking about before but enabler networks are open and democratic you can walk into any of these incubators you can write an email to them uh, look they have the whole purpose of them is to support a potential entrepreneur that is coming in so don't hesitate to explore uh, just google about it you will uh, uh, atal innovation mission ke website pe aapko सब इंक्यूबेटर के लिस्ट मिलेंगे टुडे देर आर नाइन हंड्रेड एंड आई एम श्योर देर पब्लिक क्रॉस थाउजेंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट बिकॉज यू स्पोक अबाउट नेटवर्किंग ऐसे मैंने बहुत ऑन्टरप्रनर्स मिले हैं मेरे को जो रूम में या लैब में बैठ के प्रोडक्ट बनाते हैं उनको लगता है वही बेस्ट प्रोडक्ट है और वो कभी शायद पोटेंशियल कस्टमर को देखते ही नहीं राइट फगेट कस्टमर दे डोंट इवन मीट अदर्स हु कैन गिव दम ओपन फीडबैक तो आई वुड से If you are interested in certain specific topic, आपके शहर में उस टॉपिक पे या उस सेक्टर में जो भी इवेंट हो रहा हो जस्ट अटेंड दैट इवेंट जस्ट डोंट हेजिटेट नॉट टू डू इट राइट लाइक फॉर इन फॉर इंस्टेंस या आई गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल टूडे आई वॉज कमिंग फ्राम समथिंग कॉल द ग्रीन इन्वेस्टमेंट फोरम एंड आई टूक फाइव ऑफ माई स्टार्टअप टू दैट प्रोग्राम ऑल ऑफ द फाइव स्टार्टअप टू आर नॉट इवन मेकिंग एनी रेवेन्यू वन इज अ फिफ्टी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड मैन फ्राम अ स्मॉल टाउन near chikmagalur again in karnataka he wants to set up uh, india's first paper recycling uh, uh, factory or whatever I, i really don't know the technicalities but he is going and talking to a multi billion dollar fund and he is not intimidated by it, by it at all i have someone else who is probably 23 she is from uh, delhi uh, runs this venture called malba project and she is into construction waste and she has not had that success she's been trying to do that for a year but even she was there today uh, not necessarily talking about her product but at least getting to meet people and understanding ki sector mein kya ho raha hai in this journey she has also made a way and figured out how to uh, you know earn part time income consulting because she is an architect otherwise so she is able to consult on certain things uh, on environment clearances all that all that so while she meets these big people wo bol rahi hai ki mera startup to time hoga but i'm open to do this sort of consulting work as a freelancer so point is if she was not here today she wouldn't even have gotten one or two deals that she got and it took us a while to tell her that bhai aa jao it doesn't matter that you know you don't have a product today or your product is not ready for the market today it will take some time for her to launch a product but while you have the opportunity to meet the events mein kya hota hai agar koi uh, let's say it's your icon or the person is a vip but event may there is no barrier right you can meet the you know uh, you can meet the largest business person or largest politician in your city or in your town because i think events are levelers that way networking events jaise hote hain and uh, i have learned that myself especially after joining nsrsl ki if you have no opportunity to meet big people in a room then there is nothing like that and if you are able to convince them i met some of my heroes i met mr uh, jay shankar uh, who is our ex and affairs minister i have wow. met uh, yeah uh, i had the opportunity but it didn't happen but uh, i sent a startup we, uh, one of our startup entrepreneurs four of our women startup entrepreneurs met the president of india last week mm-hmm. who was in uh, you know who was in nsr sul and imb agar wo bolte ki mere ko met like one of the entrepreneurs who met her from the social entrepreneurship portfolio she is 22 years old she her venture just started last year oh, wow. but she wanted to meet and she say she didn't say no uh i have met uh, people like uh, nikhil kamath i met uh, uh, i was supposed to meet the vice president for 10 minutes so you know i feel like opportunities aate hain but people are very intimidated they don't they're hesitant but whoever is your idol right in if you're put in front of them that person is just another individual they've had privilege they've had the lucky journey to be where they are but i encourage whoever is thinking of doing something new 
to go to every or at least make a list of every event or networking event you want to be at in the next six months and go to at least two or three because kitna bhi hum zoom pe baat karenge youtube video dekhenge hum digital media social media mein kitne bhi dekhte hain in person when you actually go and meet these people who could be your idols it's an eye opener and while meeting that person you'll probably meet 10 more other people who will probably give you feedback about your life or your uh, your new idea so i feel networking is a very very uh, important thing aisi baat bhi ho sakti hai that you are intimidated to meet people then find a co-founder or a team a teammate who is able to go and do that for you right it's not like everybody can be people friendly or outspoken uh, initial stages mein log puchte hi hain ki entrepreneur kaun hai but uh, co-founder bhi ho sakta hai so i have seen a lot of places where um, you know the couple uh, if it's a couple also they decide ki bhai i will be the face of the venture you go do everything else like we've seen those examples i think in sugar vinita singh is the face she is on right. shark tank she's on all interviews but her partner runs the operations hmm. we've seen that example with mama earth also right uh, forget the big names in our uh, portfolio we see that in fact in our cohort uh, uh, with the non profits we had this uh, couple uh, who run the venture called vigyan shala uh, darshana is yeah. the face of the organization but operations is run by vijay darshana goes for events hmm. vijay takes over the team and does the operations so be at events and if you are actually not confident of it uh, of course if you have to study the subject you have to go yourself but if you're not confident then send someone else who can represent you yeah okay for the next question i'll be taking you uh, to the start of the interview so you talked about your budding interest in policy right so i want to understand more about it how the development of more social entrepreneurial friendly policies help in the development of our sector specifically when we talk about our homeland india hmm. okay dekhiye okay, india mein non profits ngos 100 saal se zyada chal rahe hain there are probably 40000 ngos in india and still right. we are we are a developing country right yeah. so Uh, the whole movement of uh, for profit and impact also started very recently maybe 10 15 years ago still beat non profit or for profit there is no definition of a social organization or a social entrep- enterprise in the country policy level pe very 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 few countries have it and having it actually differentiates it very well i think we will soon see some uh, momentum in the space where Uh, you know even in generally up uh, uh, entrepreneurship ko bhi lo like uh, angel angel investments uh, taxation on angel investments there's been a lot of uptick in policy there um i think tax waivers for uh, angel investments initially was at some percent and now it is different and it has come over a period of time jo policy ki baat hoti hai um i think not only does it take time it needs evidence on the ground right um leaving the general entrepreneurship ecosystem uh, apart social entrepreneurship mein ek specific example aapko deta hu um jaise har koi private limited uh, eventually uh, uh, stock exchange mein list kar sakta hai right be it bsc or nsc there was no such route for uh, any non profits to be listed publicly ye concept ye baat shayad hui 5 6 saal pehle and uh, today after 5 6 years in fact one of our mentors runs this organization called unnati foundation uh, he is their organization unnati uh, last week was november 7th not even last week yesterday was the first organization to be listed on something called social stock exchange which was set up we have someone called hemant who runs it uh, and he was in bsc uh, for a while um, so i think this is a classic example of uh, understanding on ground problems someone taking it up at a policy level and also making it happen over 5 years uh while unnati foundation is the first organization that can be listed on social stock exchange which means agar aapko unnati foundation mein donation dena ho aap directly uh, public markets mein de sakte hain right right uh, i've heard that it is obviously they'll have some feedback on po- processes the options were open for unnati till yesterday so uh, today we'll get a lot of feedback we at nsrs will want to host 
a panel discussion on this between uh, Social Stock Exchange and Onati. Uh, it is a matchmaking platform right now, mm -hmm. in, but at least there is an option. If you list your non-profit publicly, more people are going to notice it than otherwise. Uh, and I think it's a great innovation at the policy level. The other example I would say is 2014 when the CSR laws came in. Yes. The fact that every corporate who is making certain such profits above certain such numbers, which is I think around 5 crores, have to park 2% of your profits back into uh, uh, social initiatives. In India, we don't think this is a great innovation. But when you actually go meet other countries, and people from other countries, they say, especially innovation space mein, incubator ho, ya academia ho, ya even venture capital ho, jo bhi ho, that the fact that India is able to channel so much corporate money into uh, innovation ecosystem is one of the fundamental factors as to why we are the third largest startup ecosystem in the world right now. Mm -hmm. So, ye policy innovation jo hua 2014 mein is given room to uh, what, some 5,000 or 6,000 startups today in the country and uh, I mean funded startups otherwise registered startups are around 90,000 wow yeah that's a staggering number yeah so I think policy level pe jo bhi aise uh, innovations shai hote hain 4-5 saal mein pehle ek bar right like 2014 it happened now we are talking again social stock exchange but uh, the fact that so many incubators are there all this is and, and, and are running with CSR funding this is probably thanks to that law passed in 2014. So, um, yeah, I think that is uh, propped up the general entrepreneurship ecosystem. That law started off with it. Now, I think everyone has time to go deeper into each sector and now you're seeing an evolution in the social stock exchange also. So, we have seen in the last decade, India has seen huge rise in development when we talk about social entrepreneurship. The greatest enabler has been definitely the policies and also technology so what are your two cents about it okay uh, see technology definitely humne iske bare mein baat kiya uh, i think in india for example the cost of a financial transaction through a phone pay or a google pay mm. uh, data on internet is i think we are one of the cheapest in the world uh, if you look at the cost of a financial transaction uh, I think in US or UK is three or four times more than us. In the Middle East, I've read somewhere, and I think you can look up the look up the internet for this is seventy or eighty times more. So, agar aap chai khareed rahe ho ya ya jo bhi khareed rahe ho road pe and you're able to make that transaction on your Google Pay or Paytm to a street vendor or anyone. This is one of the classic examples of building a robust infrastructure, robust ecosystem to make an innovation happen. Uh, technology at the back end infrastructure can enable scale at this level. Uh, I think we are doing billions of transactions per day, both not only in volumes in terms of dollars and rupees also. Um, but at the same time, at this scale, technology is making things efficient of an innovation that was otherwise not. But at the same time, Tech can only be an enabler uh, and we are okay to look at innovations. We would want to encourage innovations where it need not be the driver is what I'm try trying to say. Uh, layman terms may bowling it though, like for example, okay, Chai Point. This is a startup a lot of people know or Chai was also, right? In Logne funding raise kya, Chai Chai, I mean, uh, actually what is it? It's a packaging innovation hmm. and it's a retail innovation, right? Funding has been raised saying it's a technology innovation. Mm. Why? Because uh, one, you made it available on platforms like Swiggy and Zomato. Right. Uh, second, someone like Chai Point actually managed to make a vending machine which is able to give you the same sort of taste of chai which you otherwise get in a tapri. Yes. Uh, and that vending machine, they, the founder had to go and sit in China for a year, do those prototypes, etc. Et so it's a food company, a end of the day, but still has used tech to support it. Um, so I feel that this technology crazy me humko aisa nahi samajhna chahiye ki bina tech kuch ho hi nahi sakta. Uh, you know, like I have a coming back to Divya's case, her job and her company's job is waste management, picking oceans waste. Like fishermen go pick the oceans, pick the plastic waste, segregate it. The women segregate it and then sell it to uh, waste aggregators. 
एंड इसमें कहाँ टेक्नोलॉजी इम्प्लीमेंट कर सकते हैं राइट बट स्टिल शी वॉज मैनेजिंग टू डू इट बट नॉट एज द प्राइमरी ड्राइवर ऑफ द वेंचर शी इज जस्ट बिल्ट अ स्मॉल प्लेटफॉर्म इन कनाडा इन द रीजनल लैंग्वेज विच especially educates and trains these women on waste collection policies and uh, safety practices in waste management so i think for certain innovations be it fintech e-commerce the larger ecosystem of india story the india stack story the digital public infrastructure story definitely has played a part for uh, enabling eco uh, innovations in the, at a very low cost but at the same time uh, you know other entrepreneurs who don't want to who, who are not an expert in tech or this business may take lagta nahi shouldn't get dis- discouraged the point is while you start growing while you start scaling technology will enable you to make your operations efficient aapke paas zoho hai aapke paas paytm hai razor pay hai ye sab startups hi hai jo bade hue hain you can implement use them for your accounts inventory Uh, you can use them for your bookkeeping and that is how you're going to make your business growth an easier journey using technology even if it is uh, you know uh, i don't know you could be running a hospital where you need uh, tech to actually streamline operations you could be running a small uh, sweet stall you could be running a small food business so i feel people shouldn't get intimidated ki bhai mere ko tech aata nahi hai ya mere ko business numbers i don't understand but uh, there is i think tech built in uh, what's the word uh, ubiquitous now in in india mm-hmm. uh, both for financial operations or transactions but it doesn't mean that's the only way to go you can always bring in tech to supplement your business and make your business better right yeah for someone who has worked so closely with the social entrepreneurs and track the development of the sector as per you what are the fields and other domains who that hold the promises for our entrepreneurs okay um social entrepreneurship mein aisa hua hai ki uh, first sector that showed success in um, both making money and impact was financial inclusion um microfinance uh, jo revolution hua india mein 2000s to 2008 and then there was a crisis uh, and then again there was a reset in the industry but microfinance grew and some uh, investors were able to show that this whole concept of group lending and you know enabling people with loans uh, had a lot of impact but can also make money now that has not transitioned into other sectors yet right um but adding to the point from the last uh, question what we are seeing now uh, for instance um i manage a program in partnership with cap gemini where in the next 3 years we have to incubate 120 startups and it's called i mean technology being again enabler or driver is what we are looking at mm. and isme both non profits come for profits come right now we are running the third cohort we have to run eight cohorts so isme in the last 3 or 4 months we are seeing a lot of agri tech startups um we are seeing a lot of health tech startups agri tech mein aise examples hain jo uh, someone is making uh, a new soil testing machine which can actually test the soil without actually going and digging into it right there's the, it's yeah um there are um health tech platforms uh, which are giving you mental health services but with a vernacular edge uh, so i think combination of i mean the verticals wise if you see agri tech health tech mental health isme technology use karke bahut innovations ho raha hai and we are seeing also seeing a lot of regional implementation of these things which means either using the vernacular language or either using existing data models hence ai and all that coming in uh, for example somebody uh, was pitching to us recently uh, they're building marketplace for fpos only food producer organizations only so if you're setting up a food producing company in some village using that platform you can still buy whatever um, products fertilizers that anyone else has access to in a bigger city so i think agri tech and health slash mental tech will definitely take over climate is another thing we are seeing climate climate tech circular economy jaha alternate materials are hain for plastics in different cases like for example we have a venture called sunbird straws who are making straws from coconut waste 
कोकोनट का नारियल का जो भी वेस्ट होता है हस्क से थोड़ा फिल्टर करके रिफाइन करके दे हैव अ प्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस एंड इवेंचुअली दीज ट्रॉस आर सोल्ड टू कंट्रीज इन यूरोप एंड रिसॉर्ट्स इन यूरोप एक्सेट्रा इट इज एन इम्पैक्ट स्टोरी दे अगेन एम्प्लॉय सम अराउंड थर्टी वुमेन इन रूरल मैसूर वी हैव समन कॉल द गुड गम हु इज एक्चुअली मेकिंग इंडिया फर्स्ट प्लास्टिक फ्री चूइंग गम हमको पता भी नहीं था कि चूइंग गम में प्लास्टिक प्लास्टिक होता है राइट सो दिस गाय आई मीन ही राइट नाउ स्टिल नॉट करेक्ट ऑल रॉ मटेरियल फ्राम इंडिया बट जो चूइंग गम अब चिपके हुए देखते हैं ना बस पे या ट्रेन पे या लिफ्ट में फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स नेवर डी कम्पोस्ट राइट एज ऑफ नाउ द लार्जर कंपनीज डोंट हैव एनी अल्टरनेटिव इट जस्ट गोज इन टू योर लैंड फिल इट जस्ट स्टेज देयर इट जस्ट स्टेज फॉर एवर या वेर एज वॉट दिस गाय इज मेकिंग द कंपनी इज कॉल द गुड गम ऑन्टरप्रनर नेम इज मयंक एंड ही इज मेकिंग अ बायोडिग्रेडेबल चूइंग गम सो वी आर सींग दीज क्लाइमेट इनोवेशंस कमिंग इन uh we are also seeing in the climate space some alternate materials also so we have someone called uh carbon craft uh who is making tiles from uh recycled tires burning recycled tires usme uh, waste processing jo bhi karke he is actually making a tile which is uh right now obviously more expensive than a regular tile but it is not completely made out of concrete or cement or whatever it may be so environment friendly solutions are uh, where it could be alternate materials it could be recycling of something from waste to something value valuable um, we have somebody called eco kari who makes nice bags grocery bags from plastic waste okay so another example in the same lines so we have someone who's making sunglasses from chips packets that are thrown and it's the waste processing technology that he is trying to uh, innovate on so climate solution ev to aap dekhte hi hain but that is i think on the other end of the spectrum which needs a lot of infrastructure a lot of investments but alternate to plastics and uh, i think we see the air quality in delhi now and these these are the kind of problems that we need solutions for uh, if anyone is able to solve the air quality problem in delhi i would probably incubate them tomorrow but uh, definitely i think climate solutions evs and alternative to plastics is something we will see one more sector i would like to mention is uh, education and probably fintech here is where i think people will leverage technology continue to leverage technology but it will not be the end to it we have seen how edtech has transformed जैसे आप भी कर रहे हैं डी में इट नीड्स अ वेरी हाइब्रिड मॉडल सो पीपल विल एंड अप यूजिंग टेक वेयर इट हैज़ टू बी डन एंड एवरीथिंग एल्स वेयर इट्स प्रॉब्ली नॉट नीडेड हैज़ टू बी ऑफलाइन बट आई थिंक इंडस्ट्रीज लाइक एट टेक और फाइनेंस इनोवेशन फाइनेंस हैव सैचुरेटेड ई कॉमर्स ऑल्सो है सैचुरेटेड वेयर आपको दो तीन बड़े प्लेयर मिलेंगे बस उसके बाद uh, i feel it may take 2 3 years for that, those sectors to have a rebirth um, either people have captured markets or people have distorted markets got it so finally since not everyone can have access to someone like nachiket himself so unke liye advices ke liye ya agar wo apna mentor ki talash mein hai तो वो कहाँ जा सकते हैं वॉट कुड बी द नेक्स्ट बेस्ट ऑप्शन फॉर दैम या आई थिंक एक्चुअली यू प्रेजेंट अ ग्रेट बिजनेस आइडिया कि एक प्लेटफॉर्म बनाओ जहाँ मेंटर्स यू नो आपको मैच कर दें इनफैक्ट विज्ञानशाला डज दैट फॉर पीपल इंटरेस्टेड इन 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 साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी राइट दे प्रोवाइड द मेंटर्स इन इन स्टेम आप यू कैन लुक एट अप बट देर इज नो वन प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर दिस आई विश यू नो दर वॉज वन प्लेटफॉर्म of course linkedin is very democratic right now you can have access to anybody and everybody but one thing that you know uh, you might want to look at is keep a track on uh, you know your your story gives a lot of articles on successful entrepreneurs mm-hmm. you can they don't wait until that entrepreneur is very big if they like someone they write about it uh, joe stocks yes. is another medium where a lot of these stories are covered बुक्स में आप देखोगे तो वी हैव वन ऑफ आर मेंटर्स नागा हु जस्ट रोट अ बुक कॉल बैक टू भारत आई मेट जागृति यात्राज फाउंडर कॉल शशांक हु रोट अनदर बुक कॉल आई थिंक डायमंड और मिडल ऑफ इंडिया डायमंड और समथिंग लाइक दैट दीज बुक्स हैव स्टोरीज एंड प्रॉब्ली फाउंडर्स हु आर नॉट फेमस 
but if you can look them up and read the stories and are inspired and ping them on linkedin they may, they may probably reply right so these are guys who are going to become your entrepreneurs advisors um i don't think there's a platform i'm just going to name some books some movies some podcasts which are going to help people to discover other people probably follow their life and right. you know and then go to a local uh, or or someone you know for uh, advisory uh of course once you are in a formal structure of incubation and all that you will get advice you will get mentors mapped etc but until then i think uh, good to read uh, there is a book called the lean startup by eric ries movies to bahut hai aap uh, indian movies mein dekhenge to there was a recent movie which came in tamil was dubbed in hindi uh, the movie the actor was surya i forget the name of the movie it was the story of air deccan uh, captain gopinath so mm-hmm. there he completely shows uh, you know the difficulties in entrepreneurship but end of the day what is success right guru was another movie in the past which showed that hollywood movies mein aap dekhoge to uh, ek uh, i think jennifer lawrence ka ek movie hai uh, called uh, it's called joy woman entrepreneur modified nothing but a mop and she's trying okay. to sell that mop her dad had a mop for years together it had the same model and when i started seeing the movie i was like ye kya karegi jo jhadu posha kaise bechegi and what is there to innovate <laughs> yeah. but she makes a better model a foldable model a lighter lighter model and they show the entire journey as to how she cracks big deals mm-hmm. the founder karke ek movie hai jo mcdonald's ke story ke bare mein hai han ji and yeah so indian content i told off late again like how you guys are doing podcasts are very popular uh one of the podcast i follow and a lot of entrepreneurs uh, potential entrepreneurs should follow is uh by nikhil kamath called wtf is podcast uh that's the name of the podcast so wtf is question mark up youtube pe you just search nikhil kamath a podcast channel you'll get he has done 12 or 13 episodes each episode covers an industry i was just listening to uh, this podcast on the flight from bangalore to delhi ढाई घंटे का फ्लाइट है ढाई घंटे का एपिसोड खत्म हुआ इट्स अबाउट रेस्टोरेंट इंडस्ट्रीज एंड हाउ यू नो हाउ समन आई मीन एंड ही हैड दीज ब्रांड्स द फाउंडर ऑफ सोशल ऑन इट फाउंडर ऑफ फर्जी कैफे ऑन इट एंड फाउंडर ऑफ पूजा धिंगरा हु इज द फाउंडर ऑफ लव फिफ्टीन सो ही टॉक्स अबाउट सेम थिंग लाइक हाउ दे स्टार्टेड वॉट इज द सिचुएशन राइट नाउ क्यों Swiggy, uh, Zomato, के साथ why are food and restaurant entrepreneurs fighting? Yeah, they are uh, not happy. Why? Yeah, yeah right. why? And hence, how does government and policy come in? Like to go back to your question, hmm. ONDC is something I never spoke about, but right. Magic uh, Yards, no, what's it called? Magic Square. One of these pla- is basic Magic Pin. Magic Pin. Magic Pin. So, uh, or in in Bangalore, uh, we have a new platform called Namma Yatri for autos, which is, I think. doing phenomenally well i don't even use ola or uber anymore in in bangalore so combination of these contents will give you i would say an exploratory view of what is happening and it's very contemporary that way so i think as out there but direct advisors mentors if you are definitely doing once you know what you're doing i don't think the, the enabling ecosystem in india that we spoke about now right. is very uh, open to advice and mm-hmm. mentoring Great. Thank you so much for your time, Nachiket. It was it was a pleasure having you here, and I'm sure आज हमारे listeners ने आपसे और आपकी journey से बहुत कुछ सीखा होगा. और इन्हीं listeners में से कई हमारे से successful entrepreneurs निकल के आएंगे, जिनकी बात हम आगे आने वाले भविष्य में भी करेंगे. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was Nachiket Kulkarni for all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Purva, for having me, and uh, I hope I didn't bore people with all these stories. Uh, as a, uh, you know, I'll leave uh, my coordinates with Purva. If someone has some specific doubt on entrepreneurship, and as I said, uh, you know, uh, incubators have. I have idea. Even like we, in fact, at NSRSL have a system where we actually have an idea stage program, so called Launchpad. So, if you have just idea, hai, and you don't want to just validate the idea you can go through like for 3 months that that specific program any other queries and definitely i mean uh, one thing i would want to leave with is uh, people say next 10 years is india's people just don't say that for a reason i think it is so 
while all of you have everyone here in the room and in the university has that talent they are also lucky to have that exposure and the infrastructure set up to shine in the future so good luck to everybody who's listening and happy to take any questions any query that comes from uh, this uh, audience thank, thank you, you so, so much, much again. yeah bye yeah and there you have it folks najiket kulkarni's transformative journey a testament to the power of daring decisions and unwavering support this is vichar vahini signing off with a mic drop moment your thoughts can shape tides of change so keep thinking keep dreaming and let the waves of inspiration carry you forward